Welcome to Doug Dust Stuff. I'm Doug, and today we're doing a Four Winds 240 Horizon 1997. The other day we had taken off all the decals off the boat all the way around, and it's left us with a little bit of a mess. So today we're going to use some acetone, some towels. We're going to wipe down all of the decal area, and then yeah, we're going <laughs> to, and then we're going to get to compounding and waxing, hopefully. So stick around. It's kind of hard to see. Let's bring you in a little bit closer. That way you can see it right there. And uh, let's see what happens. All right, so I know the lighting is not 100% for you, so it's kind of hard to see. But the acetone really is taking off all of the leftover residual glue that if I was to compound would be stuck in in my compound and cause me such a royal pain. So I think what we're gonna do, sorry for the camera action, uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get off the rest of it and then we're gonna come back and power wash it and then we'll move on to compound. All right, so we wiped down the whole boat with acetone, got off, I mean, all of the glue essentially. Uh, you can just see, you know, there's a couple scratches, we just passed one all the way down all of the glue came off uh back here where i was using the uh the decal remover wheel you can see right there still some uh it left like rubber buildup. i had to get the plastic scraper out with some uh acetone to get it off also took the opportunity to wipe down the uh the rub rail with acetone um took off a bunch of stuff that was built up on it and now, uh, the boy and I are going to power wash it. All right, so it's been a long day. Uh, you can probably hear the generator in the back. It's been a long day of cutting the grass. But we got the whole boat acetone. It actually looks pretty damn good. The, the difference between where the decal was and the um, gel coat, it's really hard to tell from any distance on the side when you get to the back half of the boat here let's go for a little walk when you get to the back half of the boat that all changes uh where it's really sun faded let me get you in a little closer here oh, see it's really hard to tell it's really i mean it's there so you could you can just see it um as we get back further where where the red starts to fade where the decal was really starts to pop and then we get to the back of the boat here where the sun must have been hitting it all the time. And you can see uh, how faded it is. I did start to compound by hand just for to see what would happen. Um, and uh, it looks pretty good. You can see here, there's your full walk around. The whole thing's been acetoned and then power washed. So we are, I think we're pretty good to go here um yeah wow see like that's almost that's crazy you barely see that anyway uh i'm gonna get going here i'm gonna use some Meg uh, meguars uh meguars oxidation 49 oxidation remover and uh my little harbor freight da orbital polisher so i'm gonna put you back here in the tripod put this into hyperlapse and see what happens All right, so it was about six minutes of work here. Um, it is looking, sorry, just trying to wipe it off here. It's actually looking pretty darn good and pretty shiny. It's hard to tell because the light is horrible. Uh, but I mean, you can see the ground now. I don't think you could see that before. I am definitely cutting into it. 
as you can see, or maybe not, there's red on my towel from where I, there, that's a little better, from where I've been uh, compounding. Um, started to do the hull here. I think I'm going to wait. I think I'm going to do all of the red first, all the way down, and then uh, come back and do, do the bottom side. Uh, I got a lot of work ahead of me. This is going to take a long, long time. Uh, I think I'm going to turn off the camera for a while and just get working. Um, see what happens. All right, so we've been working with the uh, Meguiar's, whatever it was there, 49. Uh, you know, it's doing an okay job. Uh, you can see kind of where I stopped, maybe. Man, this light is just killing me, but you can see it right here and here. Um, so I'm moving on to something different. I'm moving on now to Meguiar's 67. See if that will do any better for us. Um, I mean, it's definitely shinier, but as you can see, you can still see the, the details from the old decals, and there is still some hazy oxidation in here. So, we're going to try this. I guess the next step after this is Meguiar's 91 Heavy Cut. Um, that's on order. This seems like it's a... Uh, Advertisement for Meguiar's. I'm using all Meguiar's products, but I assure you this is not sponsored at all by Meguiar's. Although it'd be nice. All right, so we're definitely cutting. Our pad is a little red. Put that down, take a walk down here. I didn't do any of this side yet. I started at the porthole just because my arms hurt and it was easier. Uh, I mean, it's a, it definitely is better, but I could still see see if I can use my hat here to give you some nope that's not helping at all anyway um, you can still see I, it's definitely better with the 91 Meguiar's no 67 Meguiar's um, seems to be giving it a little bit more of a gloss in there um, wipe that off so I think what I'm going to do is, I did the first step with the, not the first step, the first thing I did was the 49 up to here, and now I just did that 67, which is, let me grab it for you, one step compound, aggressive cleaner plus polish, and it's, oh son of a gun, hold on, yeah thanks, alright anyway, it says on the back that it is removes heavy oxida, oxidation, tough water spots, scratches. Uh, one step compound to design to clean both the gel coat and leave behind a high gloss finish. Will, will remove moderate to heavy oxidation. I've definitely got moderate to heavy oxidation. I wouldn't say it's exactly removing it like I thought it would. I might have to go to the wet sand. Uh, I, I did order the 91 uh, Meguiar's heavy cut compound. So we're gonna see what happens. Oh, that's a good, that's better. Yeah, look, yeah, you can see where I stop. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna keep going though. I mean, I, I got it out. It's gonna rain in a little while, so I gotta start putting stuff away and cover the boat. But I think it's gonna rain here in a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and, um, I got the stuff out. I think I'm gonna finish all the way down. And with the 67 Meguiar's um, without the the first step that I use with the 49 and see if it changes anything and then we'll go from there uh, I'll try and put you on hyperlapse
All right, I know this video is a little bit disjointed. Here we are at the back of the boat. Uh, probably the worst sun bleaching this side and, and that side on the transom uh, at the back side of the uh, swim platform. Uh, yeah, so uh, it's been coming out okay. The, the one step has been doing a pretty good job. Um, this boat, like I said, is in great condition for its age in 97. We got scratches here and there. I found one spider crack in the entire gel coat just now on the side. So I'm going to put you in hyperlapse and I'm going to do this right here. Let's see how it turns out. Um, like I said, not sponsored, but doing an okay job. I'm going to be interested to see what the heavy cut does when it comes tomorrow. All right, so uh, not too bad, actually. Um, it came out pretty good using the 67. You can see my pad's pretty red. It didn't super cut into, into the gel coat. Um, so, I mean, like, you can still see the old decal lines. But it definitely brightened it up, um, especially here on the back where it was really sun bleached. Um, it did a nice job. I could probably do it a couple more times. Sorry, I should probably focus there for you. Probably do it a couple more times. Um, I do have the Meguiar's 91 coming tomorrow. I might save it for that. But there's this side. And, oh, falling on a child. Sorry. Um, you can see the difference. They were pretty the same, pretty much the same. This is very, uh, very bleached out. So, not too bad. I did that side. Like I, I started with the 49, uh, then I went to the 67. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know about the the 49. I don't think it. I think it did something. I, I don't know if I think the 67 did a little bit more. Uh, but you can see on this side, it's pretty oxidized. So I'm gonna wait for the heavy cut, and then I'm gonna go for there. So that's it for day one of uh, working on this, uh, pretty much intermittently all day. Got to put stuff away because the rain is coming. Uh, thank you again. Like and subscribe. And we'll see you for part two, which is side two, next time.